Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Sultai mid-range. We're going to play this deck in the metagame challenge. Let me get the cursor. There it is. Um, I'll explain that event. We'll get to it in just a little bit. But basically what we've seen here so far with um, War of the Spark standard. I'm doing this. What we've seen here is that there's been a whole lot of Esper Control and Simic Nexus. Those have been the two most popular decks. For good reason. They're, they are really, really strong decks. But it seems like people are just not really playing Sultai anymore. And I feel like Sultai... Like, last format, I went through the whole format saying that Sultai Midrange was the best deck um, the whole time. And I, I still feel like Sultai can be built to beat kind of anything. And I think that you can build Sultai to beat Esper and uh, Civic Nexus. So this is what I'm this is what I'm going with. This is what I kind of put together here earlier today. It's kind of weird with like how Sultai was, you know, like maybe like the most hated deck in the format like a, a while ago, a few months ago. But with all these like Teferis and Wilderness Reclamations, it's kind of I kind of feel like Sultai is like the good guy now. It's kind of weird that it's like this is like the deck that's like not so bad um, kind of thing. So even though I, I didn't used to play very much like kind of stockish Sultai mid range because uh, you know it's like the best deck of the format, but nowadays not people aren't really playing it so much. And so I want to I'm going to go ahead and, and give it a try here. Um, so what we have here, as you can tell by my sideboard, is is a sideboard that I am I am targeting those two decks. I'm targeting Esper and uh, Nexus. I think I'm a little weak to Esper still. I think I could be doing a little bit better then. I really have Nexus in mind for sure. We'll kind of see if I need more stuff against Esper. But you can you can tell how I have like a couple of negates in the main deck. Uh, you know, like negates are just good against basically everybody. Just been really happy with um, negate <laughs> and. Um, then we got we got all the duresses and a couple more negates in the sideboard, so we can go up on on all of those. But then, as you can see here, I have three crushing canopy, three unmoored egos. Those are both specifically with like Nexus in mind, not really so much for Esper. So it's possible I need to find something, especially in like that crushing canopy slot that like can kind of go in against both decks and not just um, not just Nexus. I don't have, like, you know, hardly anything for aggro in my sideboard, as you can tell. I think our deck's already pretty good against aggro, with Wild Growth Walker is awesome there, so is Hostage Taker, so is Krasis. And that's why I'm playing three copies of Find Finality, because Finality is just so good against aggro. So we got all those things. Two cards that I, I want more of in my deck, but it's hard to have, like, just a bunch of four drops. But, you know, I would like to have another Contempt, but... It's hard to have more. And I think Golgari Queen and Tamio. I think both of these Planeswalkers are really good. I would like to have two of each. But I can't really play, like, you know, all sorts of fours. But Golgari Queen these days, uh, there are a lot of search for his Cantas around to minus to just get rid of. Uh, a lot of those. Um, and uh, even the, the Esper decks these days, how they're playing three mana Teferi and just playing... Just playing this Vraska to eat the three mana to ferry is something that I want to be doing all day, also. Um, so that, like, you know, this this card is just really good uh, with these different three mana planeswalkers, Narsets, all that kind of stuff there. Um, Hostage Shaker is definitely not the weak link. Hostage Shaker is amazing. They're, yeah, Hostage Shaker is just amazing. It's, no. It, <laughs> as far as weak links go, Hostage Shaker is not it. Um, and then Tamio can can do a really good job of like being find finality to like get back hostage taker or get back hydroid crisis or there's like times like where you just really want like a crisis right like you're later on in the game like the game like left for like a long time and maybe you don't have a crisis in your graveyard where you can tick up mill four look for that crisis maybe you really want to find a vivian um or again like hostage taker or anything like that uh maybe you're at the point where you have the game locked up where you just want to find a negate uh, or, or you can like re bring back your negate you already used kind of thing I would I would really like to have like I think Vraska and Tamir are both really good and I would like to have more of them maybe that means less Vivian Reed but Vivian Reed's incredible too it's tough anyway this is the the list that I put together earlier today I just played it some in the ranked queues um <clears throat> I went four and one in the ranked queues 
with it earlier today, just losing. I won the first four, but I just lost to Mono Red. I got I got um, stuck on lands twice against Mono Red that had you know good draws and ran me over. When that happens, um, so we're gonna try this new event though with it. Uh, how do I get to there? This competitive metagame challenge. They did this whenever the previous set, Ravnica Allegiance, came out too. It's like a way for you to get a whole lot of boosters. So we're gonna be paying two thousand gold to enter. And it's single elimination. So if we lose, we're done. We'll, you know, like re-enter again if we lose. If we get one win, we get half of our entry fee back. So, we, you know, if we win our first one and then lose. And then at two wins, if we go 2-0, and oh, uh, we're doing okay. Because we, like, a one pack is worth like a thou is worth a thousand gold uh, if you would just go buy a pack. So we'd have, we'd basically be up 2,500 there. So that's for two wins, three wins. You get your gold back and you get three packs. And then you get five packs with some more gold. 10 packs at 5 wins with some gold, 20 packs at 6 wins if you're 6 and 0 and if you go 7 and 0, you get 30 packs. So let's see how we do with Sultai Midrange. Single limb. Nars Yeah, I could play a Narset in the sideboard. I definitely thought about it. I was looking at I was kind of figuring the double blue could be kind of rough, but you don't really need Narset on turn 3. Or, you know, like right away. I could definitely see playing a Narset instead of a Canopy. I don't. That's a that's a good um, good suggestion there. Thanks, Kitsu. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. All right. Let's see how we do. Yeah, Narset against Gates. Ooh. I haven't really seen Gates, the new format. Thanks, Gatsby. How do I like the teamer mid-range? It definitely played better than I thought. I was really worried going into it with like some with like some of the card choices, but it actually played pretty good. Mudorino with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Oh, is that just sub number eight? Okay, I was I'm one off actually. So that's sub number eight on the day. Whoops. There we go. Two away from the next goal. Alright, never mind. I guess everybody still is playing. <laughs> so much for the whole people aren't really playing Sultai anymore. <laughs> What makes Esper control better than Grixis control? <clears throat> um, you have Kaya's Wrath, which is a very reliable way to kill a lot of creatures. You have Mortify, which is a nice card to be able to kill enchantments. Absorb gives you a good counterspell to gain life against uh, aggro. Teferi is still super busted. So I don't want the Vivian. Usually I'd be playing Vivian here, but you know we know about that contempt right there. I don't want the Vivian to get contempted. It's possible this is just good old Golgari. Beast, you can't stop nature. Stop, get this off of here. There we go. Its pain is our gain. That can't help. Ah, not again. If they're straight up Golgari and they have and they're playing Carnage Tyrants, I would love to have Liliana. <laughs> oh, good hit. Well, don't let it go to your head. Yeah, this could be the Citadel deck. True.
Sacrifices must be made from time to time. Being able to sacrifice hostage taker and get it back with fine finality is pretty nice also. No one I'm taking this land war off here so we can just continue to have more mana. I think that the amount of mana that each uh, all of us have is just really important in this matchup. This could be the finality, but then you know we can just kind of restart. All right, great, great. I won't forgive this. Perfect. So I need, I need four power to attack Vivian. Which means I have five other mana, which means I cannot play this Vivian and find a land and play the land and cast down. So let's just go ahead and just do the cast down. And attack, I guess. Not bad for a mouse. I'm not playing anything else into a finality. But we got Vivian out of there. They got four cards. Let's take the wilds are my shield. Good, more land drops. I was gonna be taking like a land over most everything. Yeah, I missed one face. I was playing a little bit around Cast Down. Uh, cast Down would have still saved their Vivian because they would have been able to kill my hostage taker. And Vivian would not have quite died. But one damage to the face like that is not is not very important. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Give me that wild growth walker. There's a lot of memor Memorial Defales for like a Citadel deck. Doesn't really seem like a Citadel deck with this many Memorial Defales. Maybe it is. Hey, Streak Almighty, saying 30 pack hype. Thank you, Streak. The wilds are my shield. Give me that. All right, one, one, one. All right, so let's play. Uh -huh. I was, so I was going to play Wild Growth, Wild Growth, Jade Light there. Is this card just insane? Man, this game just goes, like, really long. Don't we just, like, destroy three of their creatures and then put all of our creatures from our graveyard onto the battlefield? 
Is that card just actually insane? I mean, it's obviously just really, really super late game. Let's give it a try. Let's try it out. So we like to try stuff in this com this uh, competitive metagame challenge. It's a good good time to try out some new cards. They don't they don't have crisis, um, but no, I'm not I'm not planning on egoing anything here. I mean, I could see like ego for their Vivian and Carnage Tyrant and stuff being good, but they they still could be a Citadel deck. Like I don't even know. I have to be a little bit worried about milling out. I hope we draw some elves. That's not an elf. Yeah, I like the Bullis avatar. It is so good. That's not an elf either. Okay, that's an elf. Not necessarily a literal elf, a figurative elf. It's a merfolk scooter. I got in here tw should it just be 24 right yeah How this thing goes is up to you. They were not scared of counter magic. Balance comes. How am I dealing with this, Vivian? Unclear how I'm going to deal with this Vivian. I haven't found any proliferate decks that I really like so far, no. Eldest Reborn 2? Interesting. So that keep did not obviously work out, but I don't think I really need that finale to eternity. I do want all these negates. Maybe I still want that.
Um. I'm not playing on Mordigo. You only play on Mordigo when it like completely knocks out the opponent. You don't play Unward Ego in mid-range mirrors. You have to spend three mana and a card just to be down a card. You don't you don't just play card disadvantage whenever your opponent can just play lots of other things. Do I do I want you or not? No. Definitely does look like there are things that are going to be like real important. All, all these planeswalkers, the Elvis Reborns. So I want all these negates. Yes, I have unmoored egos in my sideboard for Simic Nexus. I don't put it in against anything else. Check that. Arclight Phoenix. It's good against Arclight Phoenix too. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this is tough. This is just like last hand, but we're actually on the play this time. Not on the draw. No, uh, Arclight Phoenix, not Rekindling Phoenix. It would get rid of Rekindling Phoenixes, but I don't. You don't need it in them. Like any deck that plays Re Rekindling Phoenix. I feel like I'm going to take that treasure map with the hostage taker. Why do you want treasure map against the hostage taker deck? Anyway. So next turn we can like branch walker plus negate. And you know like if the card underneath it's the land anyway we'll be able to get it. Or if it's a spell. Like we just get to pair those up pretty well. Just want land. These cards are too good to pass up. All right, so we're not taking the treasure map. Unless they go Vivian. Nah. All right, we're not taking treasure map. Akulal with the gifted sub from Johnny Popeye. Thank you so much, Santa. Santa Johnny there. That's sub number 10 on the day. Aku gets to get his hype boats in there.
So now they have a cast down. And a Liliana. I was definitely considering just hostage way. taking that last turn. Certainly considering that. Wild animals I like. You can't stop nature. I was gonna I would have hostage shaked my own branch walker away. Looks like that was the play against Liliana. Guess I should have done that. It's definitely one I was really thinking about. Let's do this again. Smelly, but effective. Second Liliana. Yeah, this looks like a fun new toy. I didn't draw. I'll be back. Hmm. Just like before. They still have a cast down, too. No, I, d I don't have answers for Liliana, really. The Planeswalkers are great against me. Um, like I talked about at the beginning, no uh, when we were going the over the deck, like uh, there's do. just not very many of these green-black matchups too much. And if if you want to win these you know, green-black mirrors, so I'd, whenever people were asking me about Liliana <laughs> in the deck, and I was saying, Rise. yeah, it'd be awesome in, in this kind of matchup. There's not too many of them around. And then, of course, we get paired against it right away. <laughs> they scryed the cast down to the top. As far as I know. See if you'll come to me. Can we actually ultimate this Vivian? Nah, probably not. Yep. We had the answer for the first Liliana. Didn't have the answer for the second one. If I play this matchup again, I would, I would sideboard differently. You know, just seeing their deck, you know, like if I had like their deck list. So they are just so spell heavy. I would have all of my duresses and negates in here. I would definitely sideboard differently. Scars are lessons. If I knew more about their deck. Waste not, want not. I thought I definitely thought the they were spell heavy. You know, as you can tell, I, I brought in four negates and one duress, but I would have just I would just have them all in after this. What a good mindless minion.
Much more planeswalker than creature heavy than I envisioned at first. Balance comes. Own one. Liliana's a hell of a card in mid range matchups. Hell of a card. I'll try this finale to of eternity one more time. That's certainly a spot that could be Liliana here. I, I just have I've never played this card yet. You know, like we drew it like that one that other game. I wanna I just wanna try that card. But I could certainly see it replacing that with Liliana. If we're going to be playing other green-black decks. Oh, whoops. I want to go here. There we go. Okay. All right, new, new one, because remember these are just single elimination. So not so bad losing like the very first one, because you just start over again. It's not like the worst time to lose. It's kind of looking like my arena may need to be refreshed. It's been about four hours of it on. We'll be playing Grixis Control in like an hour and a half or so, two hours, like after we play Sultai for a little while. Did not want to draw that second Find Finality. That was like one of the one of the worst cards in our deck to draw, probably. Terramander, huh? We need lands. Definitely the worst card we could draw. No, I, I don't want more Contempts in my deck. I mean, I, I would like one more Contempt, but there's nothing in my deck that I want to take out for Contempt. Three turns. Never mind. Hey, we found a land. All 
Alright, yeah, we need to reset arena here. <clears throat> I would I would love to be able to cast this finality before Terramander adapts. Which I was gonna say is not likely. Set arena. The wild wasn't <laughs> not dead yet. All right, we'll just get the five five flyer out of there. Guess I could have thought about that happening. So that's a reason to play Jade Light Ranger. Can it be? Maybe. All right, so if we're looking at like these cards, what don't we want? Let's get rid of one of these finds. Certainly. Um, I think I'll take the Tamio out. I don't know, all these cards are like kind of good. Maybe two to rest, three negate. This is 65. Hmm. I guess no canopy. 63. Uh, we didn't see Curious Obsession. Hey, Zexian. Going pretty good. 62. 61. 60. Alright, let's try to hit a few more land drops here. Not get stuck on three mana again. Nope. No land drops there. One land drop. Jade Light Ranger is like the one reason to think about keeping this hand. Correct, it's standard, best of three, correct. That's what we're playing. That's a lot of cards over there. Wanna get two lands? I need card advantage Jade Light. I, I can't afford 4-3 Jade Light when I'm on five cards like this. I need to, to be able to draw lands there. Yeah, I'll be starting a new challenge here in a little bit. We'll be losing this.
It's a lot different from our green-black matches that we had the last time when we had all those lands. A lot different. The good news is not playing any creatures is they are just sitting on Enter the God Eternals. They don't get to play Enter the God Eternals when we don't have creatures. Stuck on three lands again. That's what you can expect on Mold to Five. It's not bad that you get your fifteen hundred or you get five hundred gold back, so it's really only fifteen hundred entry. Yeah, the dealer is really loving us tonight. <laughs> oh, thanks, Je Jesse. Sorry, I, I was frustrated there. I forgot to reset the client. Sorry. This is the third time we've had this hand. Four lands and then a hostage taker. It's better than... Mulliganing down and not playing anything, I guess. Maybe it's not. So our last six games... Five. Our last five games, sorry. Have either been four lands and then Hostage Taker is the first play. Or get stuck on three lands and not draw a fourth land. We haven't had any anything in between in the last five games. <laughs> All right, so this is the matchup that we'll try out this new black finale. Oh, I really need to reset the client. So we'll see how the new black finale is. If it doesn't seem like it's gonna, it's very good, then we'll replace that with the Liliana. We're doing pretty good here, though. Really like drawing that land. Finality should be quite good for us. Even just maybe playing like the hostage takers, letting them die in combat, casting fine to get back hostage takers. Our opponent should not be attacking here, right? Like next turn, that thing's going to be bigger than a three-two. So they got three cards left. I got the Crisis and Vivian. Let's see how we do. I 
think we got this. I've lost. All right, getting this Vivian down so we can start expanding our resources. You know, get more lands for Krasis, find, um, find explore creatures for Wild Growth Walker, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're in a great spot. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I get it. You've seen a lot of stuff. This kind of matchup is like why we got so like all these fine finalities. Why we got three in our deck. If we really want another contempt for like mid range matchups, like that'd be a, a spot to consider. PC is holding up pretty good these days. Yeah, I need a reset arena you here. It's, it's just getting a little nature. choppy just because that's what arena does. Um, but yeah, moving moving over to 1080p on the screen instead of 1440 has really helped out. Hey, Aller2, day is going really good. We're doing the com competitive metagame challenge. Right now, we lost our first two. So they're single elimination. So, you know, we've lost the first two matches in two different events. But we're going to win this game. Meet my newest friend. I'm pretty sure that thing cost three mana. Yeah. What's up, Atari? <laughs> Thanks for that, Twitch Prime sub. And Garth Reaper as well. Welcome, Garth Reaper. Getting tons of hype buds here in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, Garth Reaper and Atari. All right, let's try this finale of Eternity. See if it does some some cool stuff for us. Hmm. Actually, I think I like Tamio here. It's a lot of loyalty. I think I'm gonna get rid of a Vivian for that finale, and then I'm gonna play Duress instead of Negate. Just mana consideration wise, one instead of two. And call it a day. Your 12th, 12th month of Amazon Prime. Full year there. Thanks, Garth Reaper. I think I like Tamio in the Simic deck. I would recommend trying out Tamio at least, you know, instead of Kiora. Well, I'm going to be kind of curving out here, so we'll just play this now to grab that history. Thank you. The Cavalry Drill Master. Yeah, 
in this matchup here, I think I like the Tamio to be able to like help us find find finality when needed. Okay, get your cat butt off the off the screen. Okay. Conclave Cavalier is pretty cool. They're green white knights. Selesnia knights. I'll take that Conclave Cavalier, thank you. Play that here. Well, we didn't get to do anything cool with Finale of Eternity. We didn't draw that. But I'm pretty sure we still got this. Well, I, I would think our opponent has Knight of Grace in their Knight. Like, I would assume they'd have both of these. Like, I, I don't think they're just playing that over Knight of Grace. I would assume they'd have Knight of Grace, too. I mean, that would be my assumption. Oh, reset, reset. Oh, let me cancel. 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 Yeah, reset. So we don't know like what kind of planeswalkers our opponent had. Maybe they had a bunch of Gideons and a Johnnies that would have been awesome if they drew them. All right, Hawkeye, you got this one? Yeah. All right, Hawkeye's going to play this one. Actually, I'm not a big breakfast food person. Honestly, um, I guess my go for, I guess my go-to breakfast food would be cereal. I I do like cereal. Um, but like you know, like like the normal, like like bacon, sausage, that kind of stuff. I don't I don't really like bacon, sausage, eggs. I mean, eggs are of course okay, um, but I don't, I don't I'm not a big like breakfast food person. Uh, we do not have double green for Jade Light, so let's play this Branch Walker first, see if we hit a Shock Land that we can put into play taps here. That's what we did. The metagame challenge is just a, it's like a weekend event here on on arena where um it costs like twice as much gold to enter as one of their normal events but then there's uh, really high payouts in single elimination so if you lose right away you're done but if you win a bunch you can get a you can get a bunch Before I make you disappear. No 
No Legion's Landing, please. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Yeah, the Band Flash was, deck looked really fun. Um, the video's up on YouTube with it. At the end, I talked about some changes that I think would be good to make to the deck. No, they have another Legion's Landing. Boo. Boo. Ugh. Boo. So basically, like, we have the stuff here to, like, be able to take out, like, these things, like, not too difficultly. I was just wor much more worried about, like, afterwards than having, like, first forward all the time. Yeah, so I'm just, I'll just play this here. I'm just going to finality, like, the next turn. Yeah, maybe our opponent has, like, Gideon and Teferi. Anything like that. Yeah, I think Teferi work, fits pretty well in this deck. The three mana Teferi, of course, not the five mana one. Get to like bounce creatures, bounce their bounce their blocker. Just great against Nexus. It's great against every. Great against Nexus and control and stuff. Now they get these first forts that can like block forever. So I tried taking that instead of like that's why I was trying to kill that with the Vraska earlier. They get just to block forever. So why didn't I block with the four power instead of the three power? Because the blocking the three power made them pay four life. So it was basically me paying one life to deal four to them. And I'm at a lot of life. I thought that was an okay trade. Hey, Billy and Bennett. Keep up the good work here on YouTube as well. You deserve nothing but success. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for keeping that sub going here for four months in a row now. We're just looking for something to draw to pull ahead. A Hydroid Crisis. A Find Finality. A Vivian Reed. A Tamio. Anything like that. No, I've not tried the Massacre Girl. I don't I don't think that she's too necessary. Oh hey look, another land. That's what we needed. If I'm not attacking, if I'm just sitting back, my opponent is also sitting back and just going wide. So I'm taking a damage a turn to keep them from just, you know, having four or five creatures on the battlefield.
Yeah, our opponent's not playing anything either. I don't... I don't imagine that they're just not playing something to play around Hostage Taker. I mean, I guess I could imagine that, like, as I said, but I don't believe they're doing that. But who knows? And, yeah, it looks like they're just drawing lots of lands, too. All right, we finally got there. Before our opponent did. I don't, like, that's nine lands for them. That's got to be so, so many of their lands. And yeah, we're at such a position right now that I don't even need to keep Hostage Taker. We can just be really digging towards Krasis and Vivian. And be really greedy. Yeah, I definitely play against Stream Sniper sometimes. It happens. not that I really complain about. I can't I can't really do too much about it. I I would prefer people not to stream snipe. I I would prefer that. I prefer but some people would rather you know give them the best possible chance to win instead of playing a fair game of magic and trying to get better and everything like that. And you know, not much, not much to do about that. <laughs> you stream snipe for the shirt tie combos? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm not uploading anything to YouTube right now. The last video was uploaded a long time ago. If I was going to make an Immortal Sun control deck, would you go blue, white, or Grixis Amass? I think probably Grixis Amass. Because the strength of blue, white is playing Teferi. I don't think that playing blue, white without Teferi and with Immortal Sun is a good idea. Where Grixis, I guess you could you can, you can could play it without Bolas. I, mean, I would think like you may want something more like... Maybe just like straight up blue black control. Like I don't know if you'd need red. Just just blue black. Or you're playing red for widespread brutality. Okay. Yeah, I would prefer that route over blue white. Alright, get that card in here. Get this one out. Get that one out. Get this one in. And get that in, get that out. Yeah, if you're playing Immortal Sun with a mass also, yeah. Uh, we have never cast Finale of Eternity, so we've never cast it with X equals 10. I've never cast it yet. This is the first time for me playing it. We, dr we did draw it one time, uh, and my opponent had a Ravenous Chupacabra and a bunch of Planeswalkers, and I didn't play it. That's the only time I've drawn the card so far. Um, consideration is playing the six-mana Liliana instead of Finale of Eternity there in that slot. Uh, if, if, we need to, if we want that for, like, green-black matches instead... Um, I think you do have to be worried a little bit about playing 
Liliana in Soul Time Mirrors because Soul Time Mirrors can certainly come down to decking and everything. And if you are drawing a card for every creature dying, really possible that you're just decking yourself. Sub battle day tomorrow. And I, I believe my friend David, my boot to the head here in chat, is going to be here also. So I think, I think he'll be here tomorrow. <clears throat> and so it'll be a fun event. Mm. Let's give my opponent a little bit more time to draw a spell. So of course, History of Benali is the card I really want to take. So I'm giving them, <clears throat> they were on a, a low hand also. I want to give them one more turn to draw the Sister of Benalia. It's Benelish Marshall. That's trouble. That's trouble. Ow. Alright, game three. Yeah, good good hand for the opponent there. One drop, double one drop, and then Benelish Marshall, and then removal spell. I mean I think that's that's just their best hand, right? That's let's get Tamiel in over over a Vivian. Yeah. Yeah, being on the play, that's Turn one, one drop. Turn two, double one drop. Turn three, Benelish Marshall. And then four, removal spell. You're dead. That just takes up a lot of room if I if I ride it out. O oh, one, O oh, one, and then you know like if I and then you know, like if we lose this one one. That just takes up a lot of room if we rewrite. So yeah, it is. Kind of weird how I just have it as one two, but um, I don't want it just to take up all that room. All right, the all important game three. Let's see how we do. I wanted to keep that other one. Nice, he got four wins with the Orzhov midrange. Awesome. Netman, did you use the the newly the new uh, list that I put out today, or did you use the one that we streamed previously? That's good. Definitely want lands. I like uh, these branch walkers trading because three two or two one doesn't make a difference here. Today's list. Okay, cool. How was, did you ever get to Finale of Eternity? And if so, how was that? Foe the King with the Twitch Prime sub. You are a rock star. Thank you so much, Foe the King. Sub number 14 on the day. The new list is in, is on Stream Decker. It's on the Stream Decker page. We have not ran into any Nexus. I I have definitely wanted to play Nexus. I came ready for the Nexus matchup today. As you can see with playing three or more Digos. So I certainly respect the Nexus deck quite a bit.
His branch walkers have been perfect. Drawing the Wildgrowth walker was perfect. My opponent deciding not to play any lands and just playing one one drop a turn has been perfect. It worked pretty well. Okay. Good. I've struggled with Model Red with that deck before. So glad to hear it. Um, the teamer list, I I think I liked Domri more than Kiora. And could just have Domri in the main deck instead of the Kioras. I think that the disenchant things should be in the sideboard. Ugh, Honor Guard. I forgot about that card. Not really in any rush here, I don't think. If I play Krasis, I'm drawing two right now. If I wait, if I just wait one turn, I'm drawing three. So I think I'll just wait a turn, draw three, just get that extra card. I don't think we necessarily need to play it right then. I haven't been very I haven't been too impressed with like Bant Nexus over just regular Simic. But I don't really play either of the decks to be fair. But just playing against them. Alright, so we can Golgari Queen, kill Honor Guard, Hasa Shaker, a Law Rune Enforcer. The most up to date one, 619. Always like, yeah, always uh, update them. I have not tried Tamio in that deck. Basically, the only difference is just Tamio instead of Kiora. But I, I think that Tamio will be better. Okay, and then, yeah, Canthic says that, cool. Canthic's playing Tamio instead of the Kiora and feels a zillion times better. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They could have Negate here, honestly. Okay, so maybe I should have just gone to combat and let them double tap my two big creatures. Getting bored anyway. Let me take this thing here real quick. Thank you. I don't really see how our opponent wins from here. So this is CMC 2 or greater. This really just, just taps everything. Like, why don't they just say it taps everything? don't want it to tap amass things, I guess. The zombie army is too strong to get tapped.
don't think I've played a land yet, have I? Yeah, how are we supposed to tap a whole army? All right. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Alright, so we're 2-0. <clears throat> if we win this, we get our gold back plus some packs. Yeah, it depends on what part of the game that you you are at. There are certainly I certainly like saying reclamation instead of Nexus at at, at times, absolutely. Um I know we have the memorial to folly that will always come into play tapped. But I want to go cast down into Jade Light Ranger. And I guess I can still do that by going Memorial to Folly, then Overgrown Tomb, then Woodland Cemetery, that kind of stuff. But I want to see if we can, hopefully we can draw another untapped land, like where I can go Woodland Cemetery, cast down, and then hopefully not have to shock in for Jade Light. So they have Field plus Shock. I'm definitely not playing my Branch Walker into a shock. I think we need to be cast downing this field, though. I think. Maybe not. So they don't have another land drops? Like, this is hitting me for two this turn. No, I guess I guess it is this thing. Yeah, that, that's dealing more damage to me. That does say gain life on it. Oops. And that could kill electrostatic field. But at this point, I just want a lot of mana to try to get these crises is really big. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken that. Killed field. Alright, Jade Light, eat the shock. They're down to two cards left. We are at a nice, healthy 14 so far. Can I get that Vivian back? Can I get that Vivian back? I would like that Vivian back, please. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Thank you. No tale should Thank be Thankfully, Tamiya is great. Metagame challenge, treating us okay. We lost our first two matches. And now we are 2-0 in this one right now. But the opponent's starting to go crazy here. I have learned all I can here. Every sometimes rest. Ha. Yeah, Tamia did worse. Tamia did her job. She did great. Uh, the newest list of Grixis control that we had. Bees in that. We'll see if we need to change anything or not. Alright, it's about to be Krasis. We're about to commence the not end game. For a mouse. Bolus' is end game. Which is just a bunch of Krasis's. We are commencing the end game.
Kraysai assemble. Ugh. All right, going upstairs. We're not killing these crises. We're going upstairs. deck. These things are so big and flying and draw a bunch of cards and that's not enough. Has to gain life too. Alright, so I have this card and all these and let's get rid of those. Of these. Maybe play a couple of those. Alright. Let's go like this. Gamazillas. Alright. Uh, wow Growth Walker plus some Explorer. Sounds like a keep. I don't like only two land and both being shock lands. I would prefer to have more lands here where we can uh, you know, potentially wait until turn four and I, and I slam Wow Growth Walker plus Branch Walker back to back. Hmm. I'm going to try it. Maybe there's not a single 3 damage burn spell in my opponent's hand. I mean, there's none of them. They play that really fast for there being a, light, a wizard's lightning here. Alright, worst case scenario. Why all shock lands? Yeah, at least the game was fast. We'll go to the next one. Light up the stage going infinite. All right, game three. We'll be on the play. I want a good amount of lands here. <laughs> we just had one black land. Uh, okay, this is a hand I can get behind. Kind of unfortunate putting that Braska down there. Just don't have the mana to play it. Hmm. 
Maybe they don't have a burn spell? Has that ever worked? Alright, let's drop Merfolk Branchwalker, please. Merfolk Branchwalker. No Chain Whirler. Just play like your Steamkin. Alright, that'll work. Are they going to coil or play this to bolt? Alright, did not have the mana for the to bolt. I don't think we need to like pop folly and just play the other wild growth walker first. Let's play this. That could be game. They still have seven cards over there, though. It's a lot of cards. Seen that? Come on, tap out, tap out. Ooh, they tapped out. So we'll have another wild growth. Gain twelve. That is not the best for a red. They'll gain twelve. All right, we're 3-0. So we've gotten our 2,000 gold back, and now we have three packs. So if we win this, we're going to win another two packs and 500 gold. we got a lot on the line here. <laughs> we got two packs and 500 gold on the line here. Okay. We have not faced any Esper Control, and we have not faced any ne Nexus. I would like to face Nexus. If I could pick a deck to face. Oh, this this hand is horrible against Nexus, though. Not talking about like with my hand. This hand isn't really good against anything. We're on a mold of six. We're good against like a mold of five, basically. Yep, looks like another red deck. All right, looks like they countered our branch walker. One mana counter spell. It's pretty good. If you think Bolt is a counter spell, you might be playing a red deck. <laughs> Legion War Boss. Ow. Get out of here. So I don't really want to just hostage taker that because the hostage shaker is just going to die. Um, and I just want that thing out of there. Of course, I'm going to wait with this wild growth walker until we have an explore creature also. To go along with it. 
Hey, Screaming Canuck, it's going very well today. Well, this this league where we're three and zero, we played against mono white, mono white, and now mono red. I guess the first one wasn't mono white; it was like green white knights, but it was you know kind of mono white ish. Wow, their hand must be really bad. No burn spell. No burn spell off the top. No burn spell. Come on, let me untap. They just had land, land. Fast turn. Ugh, it's not a land. I don't want to block and then have the taker die to a shock. That would feel really bad. Pass. Nope, nothing to do here. Might as well end my turn. They did have the shock. Great no block. I mean, it would be great to do that, but I mean, obviously, we just got to play the Phoenix. Got to get that thing out of out of the hostage taker. Still have seven cards in hand. Like, if they want to pop Frenzy, they just have infinite cards in hand still. Even with Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light, like, I'm not sure we win this. Like, Frenzy. I'm pretty sure Frenzy wins this. That was a waste of a shock. Thank you. Like, I would have been blocking here. They could have shocked my hostage taker. Maybe they thought I would get Phoenix back with that 0-1. Alright, Krasis, where you at? Or Vivian. Vivian, Krasis. Hostage taker. Take the war boss. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's better. That's better than a random card, but it's just we get to look at the next two also. Let's go library. I may want to just hostage take her the Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, I guess I'll probably just be hostage taking the Jade Light Ranger. Our opponent had like four cards in hand when they played the Frenzy, so they could have just been like a couple burn spells and something else, and they just wanted to start Frenzy going. It's it's really not that bad of an idea. You don't have to like have an empty hand to play your Frenzy. They could just pop Frenzy here with this four mana, and now they have a seven card hand. All right, we're going to have to take that thing.
Give me that Phoenix. Thank you. I'm not bringing it on Mordigo in this matchup. All right, they got eight cards. Can we handle their eight card hand? So basically, like they got, they get to start with like their brand new hand. We have a good battlefield against them. So they get a brand new hand and they can cast everything in their hand. Uh, no contempt, no. All right, that's not so bad. As long as they're not contempting Wild Growth Walker. We can still handle everything that they've played so far. I would expect them to have another Experimental Frenzy in their hand. Double Chain Whirler? That's so gross. Good thing they popped their Frenzy when they did. Look at those next cards. Like, if they would have still had Frenzy out, they would have just gone, like, Light of the Stage, Chain Whirler, Chain Whirler, and still had, like, this Frenzy going. I guess they would not have had the Steamkin to be able to do all the Steamkin stuff, though. I wonder if they have a third Chain Whirler in hand. That's an easy one. They're a little bit of a different red deck. A whole lot of creatures. Seen three phoenixes. A bunch of chain whirlers, you know, direfully daredevil. Not seen nearly as many burn spells. Yeah, Frenzy. Yeah, they, they just had Frenzy for a ton of turns. You can't really beat Frenzy over a long game. My opponent is attacking, is dealing 10 damage to me right now. And is lightning striking the Bolas. Or but lightning striking the Walker instead of the Bolas. When we're just like dead.
Which crushing canopy was better against Phoenix than what it is? So definitely playing that. Mm, yeah, like just a couple of gates. I'm thinking maybe I want to like stay big. Like I don't even know if I really want a sideboard. Honestly, I just want to like try to draw crises this time. I would normally take out hostage takers, but with all these rekindling phoenixes, I don't think I want to. Um, Tamio seems like it can do something. Tamio can do stuff. So maybe I just bring in this finale of eternity over one of the negates and call it a day. Or what are these fine finalities? Do I need all these? I guess they're playing a ton of creatures. Yeah, okay. Unmoored Ego does absolutely nothing. Stop, we're not playing Unmoored Ego in these kind of matchups. It doesn't get rid of stuff. Unmoored Ego is just card disadvantage. That's all it is. Our opponent would just be, like, like let's say you name Frenzy, they have Frenzy in hand. And you take their Frenzy, they just get to redraw a new card. They just redraw, like, whatever burn spell and kill you because you just spent your turn three casting an Unmoored Ego instead of, like, killing their Steamkin or anything else. Got Chain Whirler. Hopefully not. Hmm. Even worse. So they bolt Wild Growth Walker here. That's kind of like taking up their turn or, you know, like half of their turn. Oh no, Coil? Okay, I didn't consider Coil with my play. I did not consider Coil. I was thinking they're going to bolt it, then I cast Fine and get it and Branch Walker back. But there's just no guarantee that we're drawing a fifth mana for the next turn. If I had the fifth land in hand, I would not have been playing it there. There's just no guarantee, though, that we had it. I'm looking for Krasis. Where is Krasis at? What are you doing over there? What you doing, Hawkeye? My opponent has Spyglass, the Golgari Queen. I'm listening. Of 
Can we find a Krasis? We're currently at three wins. Uh, doesn't look good at all for us, but I guess our opponent isn't really doing anything right now either. They're probably sitting on some burn spells, like some removal spells waiting. I mean, if we draw Krasis, then we're golden. Or Vivian. Okay. Alright, Tamiya's not bad. That will dig for Krasis pretty quickly. Maybe I should name Vivian here, actually. I think you will find my notes helpful. Your name Vivian. Because with Krasis, we get to just bring it back with Find. And I, I want Vivian because Vivian can get rid of the Spyglass, turn on my Golgari Queen to start doing stuff. Also, just be able to tick up and and help find Krasis. You know, like if we if we would have found Vivian, we could have like played play Vivian to find Krasis kind of thing. If we tick up also, because then we then we have like two Planeswalkers at six loyalty, where it's like annoying for our opponent to deal with. No one asked. So right now Krasis is looking at three, six, eight. We're looking at eight for Krasis. I have become too involved with my That's pretty work. Yeah, we can we can steal this spyglass with the hostage taker. Um, Phoenix is also, of course, a great card to steal with with hostage taker. Well, we have enough mana, right? No, we don't. Not yet. We're two off. That one was kind of saved by Tamio. Tamio milled over a couple more lands and a find milled over a bunch of cards we didn't need. And also took six. So good job, Tamio. Go find Krasis, and then Krasis puts it away. Attack. Just have like a hostage shaker over here for now. <laughs> Can you imagine being saved by a big old jellyfish hydra beast?
All right, two cards left over there. What you got? They're trying to be like mono red control. They are trying to be mono red control. They had so many creatures that first game, and then they just took them all out for a bunch of spells. And now I can imagine them bringing them all back in, just a bunch of creatures again. I guess, some people like the different arts. So yeah, I guess my opponent is like somebody who likes having the different mountain arts and maybe makes the opponent upset with it, but maybe they like it. Uh, that's not my kind of thing. I like all my stuff um, being the same kind of thing. Yeah, Matthew, I can. I'll, I'm going to tomorrow before the sub battle stream tomorrow. I will kind of go back over some of the decks we've had and, and do some updates so we can get some more decks on the wheel. And yeah, Mono Red Craces, that's a good one. Good suggestion there. I'll check that out. Yeah, Nexus is really good. And I want to beat it. That's why we got all these Unmoored Egos over here. Yes, we're doing the competitive metagame challenge thingy currently. out of here. More frenzies. How much? How many? How much do you need to experiment? They're exp they're experimenting so much over there. So many experiments. Hmm. It's a good question. I don't. I don't know what I would like. Basically, okay. So the question is, why did I switch the Creature Land to Field of Ruin in the Orzhov deck? I feel like there are a lot of... A lot of, like, Ascantos around and things to Field of Ruin. I, did, I haven't really seen seem like we need to do too much with the Creature Land so far. If you like the Creature Land, keep it the same. And if, if you're playing the deck and you like the Creature Land, let me know. And I will... I mean, I... I could definitely see going back and changing it. I don't I don't really have a preference right now between them. I thought they had a shock whenever they made that attack, but I guess it was a lightning strike. Another light up and a coil. There could be a crisis getting coiled here. Boo. 
Yeah, they got two frenzies, so like Vivian killing one frenzy doesn't help us all of the amounts. Five, six, seven, so they cannot they can't kick fight with fire. Definitely negating the fight with fire. And then next turn we can cast find plus branch walker plus jade light. And hoping they don't have another four points of burn with the two land drops they still got. The two mana. been using the wander in that deck yeah that's Teo nice you just play the Orzhov deck and you feel the ruined and that's Kanta there you go There's no, there's no Krasis in the graveyard right now, but I think this next turn I'm going to play Krasis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, our opponent needs needs another one of these fight with fires. Right about now. Okay, weren't doing that great with Orzhov, though. Dang. So they are at six. Wild Growth Walker attacks for seven. Oh, no. Ugh. Stupid daredevil. Well, this game's definitely not over. That's rough. This game is certainly not over yet.
So I can hostage take her the Daredevil, cast Daredevil. They don't give me anything too great. Oh, another Daredevil? Stop. Stop. Just like lightning strike. Guess I'm just gonna take the chain whirler and kill our daredevils. My favorite mechanic. What's my favorite mechanic? Um, it's definitely not hexproof. Haste, trample, flying, first strike. I think it's really any of those. Miracle. Miracle's kind of cool. Cascade. Cascade's a good one. Delirium. I don't know. Delirium's kind of weird. I don't like, like having to keep track of like a certain number of like objects in like this other zone that's kind of hidden that one's kind of weird yeah morph's not bad morph was good I wish I could do like hostage taker stuff plus play a planeswalker, but I can't. I could just like play my two planeswalkers. I could just have like Vivian kill the treasure map and play a Tamio. How am I like winning this? I guess I can hostage taker, chain whirler, and cast. Tamio. about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. The storied past holds our future. I was grabbing wild growth jade light.
Your line there was hostage taker, the whirl the chain whirler, don't cast it, cast Vivian minus on the Vivian attack for three with these creatures and have them chomp with their zero one. I mean obviously they have the lightning strike to break that up, but then even if they do, they just like the next turn, then kill my hostage taker, then play chain whirler. You know, they get their chain whirler back, which kills my elves. My Vivian's like dead. I'm basically left with nothing but Tamiyo. It's a kind of a risky, risky line there. Uh, the opponent has 18 cards in their library right now. Yeah, we're still in the metagame challenge. This is the coolest red deck ever? No, you haven't seen my mono red crisis deck then. My, research has my mono red crisis deck is great. Speaking of crisis, I wouldn't mind finding another one of those. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, we're one mana short for finality of eternity for ten. It's a tilt. I don't really expect this to work. I expect them to have a burn spell on top. Oh, it worked. Alright, definitely looking for land with Jade Light. If we find a creature, we can just put it in the graveyard. This would be like the like the bad time to actually see uh, Krasis. Two branch walkers and two wild growth walkers in our graveyard right now. Yeah, this has been such a long game. Looks like it's kind of freezing up just a tad. No, not my land off. I needed that. Ugh. All right, we got to draw land. Okay, y'all, we need to draw land. Gotta draw a land. They killed my land war off. Some solutions must be built. We need to draw land. Come on, land. Come on, land. Oh, yeah. Good job, Hawkeye. Oh, man. This is going to be great. No, we don't have lethal, but it's just... This is going to be awesome. Alright, so we just destroy three creatures. Uh, we're just gonna target the three chain whirlers. Like, do I? I don't think I want a hostage taker or a chain whirler. Cause, yeah. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of those. Triggers. Take one of these. Let's go. Uh, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll put you in the graveyard. Thank you. <laughs> Nice. Oh, man. That card's so much better than Liliana. <laughs> um, 
Wow, that's awesome. Our opponent's like, what do I do now? They're at 37. I only got 14 cards left. Those things are five sevens. Oh, that was so good. I hope somebody clipped that. That was so good. So what just happened? We just played a finality of eternity for 10. I know those are, that's kind of in the way there. Um, destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. So we destroyed it. We destroyed three Chain Whirlers, and then we returned all creature cards from our graveyard to the battlefield. And all these things were in our graveyard. So we got we got uh, four Explore Triggers with each one of these Wild Growth Walkers. We got to Hostage Take and take one of their big artifact tokens also. That was awesome. Yeah, Hawkeye looks like we, we're going to win this one. Looks like it, at least. Well chosen. I wish the mountains had different arts. That we could choose, like, which art. Because they have, like, this one mountain that's different. Looks like all of them are the same except for this one. I got one of those. Maybe that's their lucky mountain. So down to 12 cards in library, we're at 26. That's their second fight with fire. I can't imagine they have too many of those. Anyway. Cool kitty. All right, let's look for something. We've seen two Krasis's so far. Like Krasis, Jade Light, another Hostage Shaker. I've lost so much already. Anything I've like that. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, we'll take another Hostage Shaker. All right, there we go. Victory. Minus the construct and win. No, get a hostage taker and win. All right, so that's five packs and 2,500 gold. There you go. There's the clip of it. Nice. Thanks, Oslin. Um, all right, so we're going for another five packs here. Should I reset? We didn't, haven't been playing that long. I don't think we need to reset. Yeah, this, the stream was starting to freeze a lot, wasn't it? That's why I was wondering. I was thinking about resetting Arena. I'll take this one. <sighs> no, I tried out the Eternity. I never had Liliana in here. It's just after the, the first couple matches uh, playing against like the, the mid-range things, we were, we were saying, maybe we should take out this Eternity and play Liliana instead. But then we got to do that with the Eternity, and so that was cool. Yeah, there's just so many people doing exclamation point deck list that the bot only responds every, like, 30 seconds or so. But it's on there, eventually. Why do I keep Find Finality? That card's horrible. Right now. 
I should have got rid of that. Uh, now we're just going to be playing Nexus, and that card's just going to be dead. I right, should have got rid of that. Well, I guess I'll put this Branch Walker in the graveyard so we can do something with this find. Attack. Temer. This is a Temer deck. This ain't just regular old Simic. They're playing Temer stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. That can kill Ascanta. Yeah, looking at the next person conceding. Same. Alright, so we want all these negates, duresses, all those things. So, like, I don't know their deck too well. You know, we didn't get to see a ton. They could certainly be Teamer Reclamation that's not playing Nexus and stuff like that, and like where we don't really even need these on Mordigos. But even against that deck, on Morty going Niv Mizzet and Expansion Explosion, that's got to be great. All right, this is what we got. I think I'd rather have Hostage Taker than Contempt. You know, like, they could just be playing Tamiyo, though. If they're, like, playing Tamiyo, I want Contempt. If they're playing Niv-Mizzet, I want Hostage Taker. But if they're, like, Niv-Mizzet, Biogenic Goose, stuff like that, I want Taker. I'll just, I'll just have the Contempt in my deck. We'll see if this contempt's better than a hostage taker or not. Go, Branch Walker, go. I want it to be a 3 2. Dang, 2 1. 1 3 2. 3 2 does a lot more damage. 150% more damage, or 150% of the damage.
Stop, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm streaming. <laughs> uh, let's go Tamio. Let's get this. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Let me I could take like the research. I was thinking about like grabbing the canopy back. Ugh, two Tamiya. There are two canopies now. Oh, I should play... I forgot that I had the, the land drop there. I should play the Branch Walker. <laughs> We're playing 24 lands in the deck. How not to get mad when you get mana screwed. The more times it happens, the less ma the less mad you get. The more times it happens, um, it's just that kind of thing. Um, you just kind of get used to it. Just gotta realize that it's just part of the game of Magic, and having uh, mana troubles is just one of those things. Yeah, it's just part of the game. And and it's okay. Hmm. So we want to crisis. Our opponents like at the point where they can just like combo off and kill us, but. I'm gonna look for Ego again. Ego's the kind of card that like, even if, it's, if it gets countered, it's really not something that I mind that much. But... It's not like... It's not like I think that like getting back the crushing canopy and just holding that up right now is going to do us a whole lot where we don't have like a, a clock at all on our on our opponent. This next turn I'm probably just going to minus grab canopy, uh, play branch walker and canopy. Yeah, we got game one. So even if we lose this one, we're good. We haven't seen a ton of their deck. I'm expecting it to be expansion explosion, Niv Mizzet based, not Nexus based. If I would actually hit the Unmoored Ego there, I was not going to name Nexus. I, I would have just named. Um, I probably would. I, I mean, it's either expansion explosion or reclamation. I think I would have just named uh, reclamation, and then taken a look at their deck, made sure reclamation was just out of there. That's what I would have named if I would have Unmoored Egoed. So there's expansion for a bunch, for eight. Oh. We're going to keep counter magic up. That's a good one. The past is never forgotten. I don't think it makes sense to let them untap and use their mana. Or maybe it does make sense to let them untap. I 
Basically, they could have two counter spells though. Like that's that's the thing about making them letting them untap is they could have a second counter spell. All right, so we've killed two reclamations. Murmuring Mystic. I, of course, can get the Contempt back with Tamiyo, if need be. Seek and find. Hey, we found one. I think right now I'm at Niv Mizzet. Ooh, their hand a double Niv Mizzet. It's a lot of Niv Mizzets. They just had two more. All right, so they have explosion, explosion. It's a way to deal with those Niv Mizzets for good. So two Mystic, two Murmuring Mystic, two Explosion. I only see one I only see one counter spell in here, just one sabotage. Magic Harry, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I should have tapped the Land War Elf before. That was a mistake, not tapping Land War Elf. Really hope they didn't find one of those expansions right now. Yeah, I can I can just re grab Ego now. And get rid of Expansion Explosion. And then we only have to deal with Murmuring Mystic. And no with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Oh, there's Murmuring Mystic. That was actually that was a really good hit for them. Wish I would have tapped my Lanowar off before. So, <laughs> hey, Falcon. Hmm. So do I do that? Do I ego expansion, but then they have like all these things, or do I go grab crushing canopy and, and kill the Ascanta or the wilderness reclamation? Or do I grab... They only have one counter on their deck. Yeah, this is still the metagame challenge.
I have learned much from my ancestors. Gothi Stitch with the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel, Gothi Stitch. Thanks for all the fun. You are welcome. Thank you very much. That's sub number 18. Looks like I was a little behind. There. That's going to kill Tamio. I guess Tamio's probably just dying. I definitely just have to keep this for expansion explosion. The negate that is. Man, this is just getting so choppy. We really need a reset arena. This study is over. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have two expansion explosions out of all those cards. I'm gonna hope they just don't draw it for a turn here. Please just brick one turn, let me untap, just brick. There we go, they bricked. We got to untap. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Yeah, how okay, they bricked. Come to me. So I want my opponent to be distracted with this Vivian while we kill them. I want them to be like attacking Vivian. That's not exactly bricking. Oh, we're not decking our We're at 20 cards. We're good. I only consider ne just negating the opt. Not letting them get any more of these things. Okay, well, I'm definitely negating that thing. We did not see Unmoored Ego in those three those other three cards there on the bottom, correct? So there's two left in the next 17. So really, I just need to take out the expansion explosion. I, I boarded out all the find finalities. I don't have a good way to, to get through all these creatures, to be honest. Balance comes. Besides just attacking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, the 
they go back in a random order on the bottom, so we can't just go check to see if, if they were there on the bottom. And usually doing like the whole scroll stuff kind of makes it lag a little bit. So we'll negate that so they don't have any cards. Good game. Yeah, there's just that one ego in the graveyard and so that's why I kept the three mana up to see if we found another one, but we didn't. All right, we're f at five and O oh here after start doing two of them and going O oh and two. We're at five wins here with this challenge. So we are at 3,000 gold and 10 packs. So that's very good. Let's go ahead and just do a, a reset here on Arena. We're not at final boss right now, though. If we win this, then we're at the final boss. We got to win this to get there. I have not updated the climb deck. Do you mean like like Hadana's climb? I have not. I've not played Hadana's climb at all with the new format. So man, this is for ten packs here. And a thousand gold. That's, this is a big game here. Ten packs and a thousand gold. That's a lot. Yeah, metagame challenge is best of three, yeah. Um... If we were on the draw, I'd consider keeping that previous hand. But on the play, where like even one la drawing one land doesn't help us, we have to draw two lands. We have <laughs> we do have find finality a ton. That is true. Yeah, I went. I lost, I went 0-1 and then 0-1 and now we're trying it again. Lightning Strike and Skewer. Well, no reason to try to hostage take her here. This is my third time playing the red deck. Gonna block this, make it harder for them to cast that skewer. Well, they were greedy. They could have firebranded my 1 1 and then dealt 6 to me. Greedy, greedy. Um. <laughs> Balance. Oh, comes. sorry. Stop. I'm not losing everything again. I mean, actually, honestly, that's like not a bad card for us to see. We could just finality. Yep, 
No, I need more lands. Grab that crisis. We just need we need lands. You can't stop nature. All right, well we got six lands now. I'll take it at six lands. Hopefully they can't kill us. Uh, gosh. All right, draw your cards. Jade light, jade light, jade light. Stop. Alright, branch walker's not bad. So we find a jade light in here. Come to me. Do I go other wild growth actually? Should I go wild growth plus wild growth plus branch walker? It's more life to go jade light. You get more life. Cause that's that's nine life to six life, but you have two wild growth walkers that both in play. They're both awesome. I think I'm gonna go with the wild growths. We're passing up six life. Or we're passing up three life to have the double wild growth walker. Yeah, we're diversifying. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good card. If I hostage take, no, hostage taker branch walker is not not a good play. A few different people are saying hostage taker branch walker. If I do that, if I target the branch walker with hostage taker, they just fire brand and kill the branch walker. So they certainly have the mana to cast everything. If I take this, I'm dead to both of these things being three damage burn spells. I've already seen three skewers. I'm gonna take it. I think it's less likely that they have two three damage burn spells. I guess they do. Wow. That was less likely that they had that than than the risk factor found them four points of burn. Wow. Wow. Let's pick your poison. That was rough. That was a game I really wanted to win. We were so close. Do you know, honestly, do you know why we lost that? Is I took the wow growth instead of the other jade light. If we took the jade light, we had three more life. We probably win that. I think taking that that second wild growth over the jade light cost me because that next turn I didn't have any explorer. I didn't find another explore creature with the Vivian, and so I played Krasis the next turn. So if I had that extra three life from the jade light. All right, so learn the lesson there. Take the just take the jade light. Go with that extra three life instead of the two threats.
I think it was... I, I don't regret taking the four off risk factor at all. I mean, obviously, you know, we lost, but I would I would do that again the same spot. I think it's more likely that the three cards they draw deal four, four or more damage. Like, they, they deal more than four damage than they deal just four. At that point, with our opponent having so many... They had so many uh, lands in play and everything. I am not shocking at all. Chain Whirler would be bad. They may be de debating between Steamkin and... That's gonna make Chain Whirler even... hurt even worse. There's the light up. Love it. Love seeing that phoenix. No land drop. Oh no, never mind. I hate seeing that phoenix. I hate it. Krasis? No. The red deck is going to get us. They save if they save their lava runner. <clears throat> now there's no Phoenix, so that's good. Stop having that card. Ugh. Joke's on you. We can't do anything. You should be flattered. I decided to torture you. Oh, they're so cute. Cool. That's a good card to have right about now. See? Well, eventually the red deck's going to get you. Eventually it's going to get you. We had defeated red twice in this, and then we lost one. That's all right. And Krasis would draw us a lot of cards. At least, but... We did not draw very well there. All right, well, we'll crack these open. What do we get? Okay. Well, there's some good packs. We got three Mythics. Three uh, Gods. We got two Zombie Gods and one Boar God. A God Eternal Ronis, a God Eternal Kefnet, and an Ilharg the Raised Boar. And then a bunch of rares. For the most part, I have like all the rares, or like not all, but a lot of the rares that 
we want from the set. So a lot of the rares that we have left are. Um, are like those ones there. Yeah, it's good 10 packs there. All right, so I think that was worth three metagame challenges. It's worth it. We actually, did we break even? No, we didn't break even on gold. We went down, uh, down 2,000 gold. Yeah. So down 2,000 gold for 10 packs. Which packs are usually a thousand gold each, so that's worth it. And so we ended up five and three overall. So I do not have my deck like really tuned to try to beat the aggro decks too much, as you can tell here. Um, as I talked about at the beginning, I'm really focusing on uh, Esper Control and Nexus with this build here. And even then, we were. In that last league, we were 4-1 against aggro. And we went 1... And then we went 1-0 against Reclamation. And then we went 0-2 against some other mid-range decks. Uh, where we had we had some, some troubles with some draws there. Like, one of our losses were both, like, mulligans. Where we, we didn't draw a fourth land ever. We just got stuck on three lands. Um both games that was one of our losses so, like we didn't really play magic um and then uh our other one was the black green kind of mirror-ish match where they went bigger with the lilianas finale to eternity was awesome like that one game like we actually did like some really cool stuff with it this is like my card against like mono white that like that's like the point of this is like to try to like clear up um, at like four mana, clear up like uh, some history of Benalia tokens plus something else kind of thing. And it just can like do a ton, you know, like if you actually play it like in the late game in like a Soul Time Mirror, I guess, like X is 10. Uh, this, maybe this should be Liliana instead. Uh, maybe, maybe that should be Liliana instead. That's something if you're going to want to try it. But basically, as I've been saying with Soltai Midrange, as I was saying like last format, I think that Soltai is still probably the best deck and they can be tuned to beat other things. Right now, Esper Control is built to beat Soltai. I think if you build Soltai to beat Esper, you, you can. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if like this is there quite yet to like beat Esper because I still have some other stuff in mind. I'm, this is really more... This list is really more to beat um, Nexus. Like That's what I'm trying to do is just beat Reclamation. I feel like Reclamation... Even though we didn't play against it at all in any of those eight matches, that there's a lot of reclamation around and that it's really good. And that's what I really have in my sights with these three Unmoored Egos in this deck is trying to beat reclamation while having, you know, respectable game against aggro decks. As we saw, we were 4-1 against aggro uh, and everything. Okay, so that's Soul Time Midrange. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we played it one of the best decks in the format here. Usually we play like some different brews off the beaten path a little bit. But with Esper and Nexus being so big these days, it kind of feels like Soltai is like kind of the good guy these days. It's kind of weird. Um, all right, so if you're, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're here in the channel, all the replays are up on the YouTube channel. They're youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. But thanks for watching.